you'll need. Welcome back to Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. Well, today's video question ties right into our boat trailer. It has something to do with the short. Let's take a look at it. Hey, John, my brake fuse keeps blowing. I replaced it, and after a while, it blew again. I, I was told to replace it with a bigger one, but I don't think that's a good idea. Could y'all help me figure out what's making it blow? Sounds like he has a short. Now, what is a short? A short is bypassing the load with the electrons. They're going to run so fast to either ground or either to power. Either one, you can have a short to power, short to ground, that it's going to bypass. It's going to get hot, and it's going to get so hot, it's going to blow that fuse, and we can simulate what's going on right here. So you have to go past the fuse. That's where yours is, Hosam. And then if I touch ground anywhere, I'm going to touch this. Watch how quick this pops. That's it. That fuse is gone. That's gone. For sure, that one's done. Yep, so now what you need to do is just go out there and get a short finder, man. It's a little circuit breaker. They're pretty inexpensive. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna take the place of the fuse. So be careful, make sure they don't touch. Get that in both sides there that they're okay. not touching because you're just creating the circuit. Now the electrons, everything's working great. So it's running through there. We don't have a short, but when I simulate the short this time, I go back to ground. What's gonna happen is inside of here is a circuit breaker. Now a circuit breaker is in cars all over, seat motors, window just motors. Just like the one in your house. Same thing, Same right? Thing. Something gets hot, it bops, it blows. Yep. This one's resettable though, so it keeps trying to reset. And until he finds that short and gets it off the metal, it's gonna keep buzzing and it's gonna keep short. And I'll show you exactly what it sounds like. It's pretty cool. But it's nice to have the sound because if you're underneath the truck, you're working somewhere you can't see a dummy light, whatever, you can hear the problem. Big time. Now listen to this and then what happens, it's gonna keep pulsing. Lights are out. It tries, lights are out. Yep, you heard it try, listen. Tries, bam. Keeps trying to light them, it can't light them. So it's gonna continue to do that till you go around, isolate that circuit, go to your service manual, find what's on that circuit, or it could just be the boat trailer. Yeah, it could be. And so what you wanna do is detach the truck, decouple the truck from the boat trailer, run this test on just the truck. If you don't have a problem, the problem is in the wiring harness of the trailer. Now, speaking of boat trailer, whew, when I push the brake pedals, bam, there they were. Yep. When I turn the turn signals, Bam, left turn signal, right turn signal, and then the really cool part, yeah. boom, I had that light. So it looked good, it looked man. Really good. Awesome job. But Hosam definitely Great. hit it right when he said, don't put a bigger fuse in, because I can show you what's going to happen Great here. Great question to ask. You don't want this happening on your truck. Yep. This is a smaller wire. Instead of like a big fuse, if I burn that, there it goes. Not good, buddy. You're going to burn your truck Hey, up. keep the questions coming. We love to hear from you on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. I'll tell you what, we'll be back next week with more Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com, and then the smoke will be clear.